Do you think no-code tools are expensive? Let's find out. Welcome to another video. My name is Kyle. I'm the chief no code officer here at We Are No Code. And in this channel, we talk all about the no code space and we teach you about no code tools. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video and also subscribe to the channel. Do you think no code tools are expensive? What is your current opinion about? no code tools and their prices. Leave your comment down below in this video comment section and let's start a conversation about it. Let's review the truth behind no code tools. Are they expensive or are they affordable? Let's find out together now. Okay, so first let's do this thing. Let's start with um, listing the major no code tools out there. So one of the major no code tools available today is Bubble. Another one is Webflow. Another one that we can also compare is Softer. We can also talk about Adalo. And let's also add Glide. And I think Airtable is another option that we can talk about. Okay, so those are the main local tools available out there. So now what we can do is to talk about their pricing plans and how much they cost. So you can see if they are expensive or affordable. But of course, it will vary depending on how much you think is affordable or expensive. But I also will compare this to other existing alternatives. So then we can have a better comparison. So let's start by doing this comparison side by side. So both those tools, they have monthly plans and annual plans. So usually the annual plan is a little bit cheaper and the monthly plan will be a little bit more expensive than the annual plan because usually they give you a discount if you choose to pay annually, okay? So we are going to talk about the entry level plans. So those are the plans that are the most affordable plans that you can use to start building your application with no code tools. So Bubble starts at $25 a month on an annual plan. So that's the cheapest plan that they have available. So what do you think? $25 a month? Is this expensive? Well, in my own opinion, I don't think it is, but it is $25 and that's the price. So on a monthly plan, it is going to cost you $29 a month. Okay, so that's how much Bubble costs. Okay, so now how about Webflow? Webflow has the cheapest plan starting at $14 a month on an annual subscription. And if you don't wanna pay annually, you can pay monthly and it will cost you $18 a month on a monthly plan. So it's a little bit more affordable than Bubble, $11 cheaper uh, on the annual plan. So it's a significant uh, difference. Now let's see how Softer does. So Softer starts at $24 a month on an annual plan. And on a monthly plan, it will cost $29 a month if you don't wanna pay annually. So as we can see, they are not so far from each other in terms of pricing. Now let's take a look at Adalo. So Adalo is a little bit more expensive. It starts at $36 on an annual plan. And if you don't wanna pay annually, you can pay monthly and it will cost $45 on a monthly plan. So of course the tools are different from each other, what you can do with them and all the features you get when you subscribe for their plans. So maybe there is a reason why Adalo is a little bit more expensive. Now let's talk about Glide. How much does Glide cost? So Glide starts at $25 a month and there is no information on the website if it is annual or monthly, but I guess there are some options when you check out, but that's how much it costs. Now let's talk about Airtable. So Airtable charges a little bit different because it's not based on the apps you build, but it's more based on the amount of users you have. Since it's an internal tool, it works a little bit different. So it starts at $10 per month on an annual plan, but it's for each individual person, so it's per seat. 
So if you have more users, you will pay that amount for each user you have inside your Airtable account. Uh, and $12 on a monthly plan for each individual person. So it's per seat as well. So if you have multiple team members, you have to pay this amount for each individual person to have access to your Airtable account. And that's how it works because it's a little bit different from the other tools. So with that, you have a full view of how much those tools cost. On average, $25 a month, sometimes more, sometimes less, but that's usually how much you need to pay for the entry level plans that they provide. Of course, if your application grows over time, then you have to pay for the other plans that they offer that will cost a little bit more. But then that means probably that you are making money with your startup already. So paying for those plans shouldn't be a problem. So let's stop and think now if on average it will cost you $25 a month to run your application using this basic plan and you run your startup for 12 months, how much would that cost for the entire year? So per year, it would cost you $300 to run your startup business using a no-code tool. And is it too much or is it too low? Well, let's just compare how much would cost um, hiring a developer for one hour. Cheap developers usually cost you around $30 to uh, $20 per hour. Medium developers would cost around $50 to $100 per hour. And more premium developers would cost you from $150 to even $200 or sometimes even $300 per hour. So as you can see, if we just compare the price of running your no-code application the entire year with the amount of money you would spend hiring developers, it's considerably lower because one hour of a developer, of a good developer, could cost the entire year of running this application with a no-code tool. And if you pay cheaper developers, of course, it's not just one hour that will consume the same amount of money, but just 10 hours would be enough to consume the same amount of money that you would spend for one year of running your no-code application. So as you can see, it is 10 times cheaper to use no-code tools to run your application. Another thing we have to consider is hosting because if you host your application with code, you would pay hosting services and hosting services can cost a lot of money. Sometimes you can find cheap hosting options as well. So let's compare to that. So cheap hosting options would cost you around four to $20 a month and more expensive solutions can cost up to $1,000 a month, especially if you're hosting your services on a cloud service, on AWS, or even uh, with a, a virtual machine that is dedicated to your own business. So it can really get crazy in terms of hosting, but it doesn't stop there because apart from the price for hosting, you have to do your own work, you have to do maintenance, so you also have to consider how much is your hourly rate to maintain this application and to make sure that all the infrastructure is running okay and correctly. So in case anything happens with this infrastructure, you have to take care of it yourself, especially if you are hosting this under your own dedicated uh, server. So you have to make sure you not only understand how to properly set up everything, but also um, make sure that everything is working fine. Where if you are hosting with a no-code tool, they will take care of that for you. And remember that this price you pay to access the no-code tool plus to get this application published and to host it for you the entire year. Plus support, documentation, every update that they do and everything else is included in this price. So with just a little comparison, you can see that no code is 10 times cheaper. And it's not only 10 times cheaper in terms of how much you pay 
Another factor is that it is also faster to build, so you spend less time building. It means you have your product in the market faster and ready for the users to use. And this can allow you to start making money early and also give you more chances to cover the costs, the investments you made early on. And that's another thing that makes no code so competitive in terms of alternatives and other options available there. Because you not only save a lot of money, but also you make the whole process faster. And if time is money, you are also making more money or saving more money because you are going to go faster as well. So these are all the advantages of using no code. Of course, not only using no code is enough. So you have to acquire the knowledge to use no code tools the best way possible, you have to have the right mindset when using no code tools. You have to know the step by step and how to get there so you don't get stuck while you're using no code tools. Because although they are very affordable, as we just saw, they also require you to understand how they work. And also, you have to combine no code with startup methodology because no code alone will not get you there. No code is just an alternative for you to get there faster and cheaper, but you have to know as exactly how to get there and you have to know the step by step to do it and to use no code with the startup methodology mindset. So if you want to know the step by step on how to get started, how to do it, how to make your business become a reality by using no code tools, leveraging those powerful no code tools, saving time, saving money. If you don't want to get stuck into the no code space, we have an amazing program, the no code startup program. The link is available down below in the video description description section. This program is helping a lot of founders like yourself to get unstuck. We have a private chat with me and Christian inside the course plus the curriculum. You can ask us questions, send your text messages and videos as well. We reply with text and video. We support you along the way. We have an amazing curriculum combining action-based step-by-steps for entrepreneurs and also to learn no-code tools. We have discounts for the major no-code tools you might be using to build your startup business so you can save even more money while building. And we have an amazing community. We share experiences every week. We have a coaching session where we talk about your goals. We guide you, we answer questions, we get you unstuck and you will meet amazing founders like yourself in the same journey building their own startup business ideas. So if you want to join our growing diverse community of more than 450 students in more than 23 countries, there is a link down below in the video description section for you to click and apply today. You will also find more information about the program. That's all that I wanted to share with you in this video. I hope it was useful for you. I hope you now understand why no code is so affordable and why it can make your project go even further and how you can make this project become a reality by using no code tools and by also using startup methodology techniques to make this idea become a reality and then you can start your business investing a little bit, a little bit less than you would invest by just hiring developers by just doing this in the traditional way. So if you liked the video, don't forget to like it and also subscribe to the channel for more information like this. We are so happy to have you here. Thanks for watching so far and I see you in the next videos. Let's no code. Thank you